Um, my name is Abdul Hadi Bashir, and the question that I was asked is just to say to say something about my experience in Gaza. And honestly, to look at your country from the outside is really open your minds and open your eyes to see something that you we've been immune inside of Gaza to feel that this is familiar to us. And I'll just read for you a few lines that I wrote based on my experience during the castlet because for the last war in Gaza I was here in the United States for the last three years. Um, when the castlet happened in Gaza I was working with the Red Cross this is the international organization to help Palestinian in time of wars and I wrote something when the earth is shaking due to the severity of the force by the by the air drones and the F-16 then you know that you are in Gaza when you see the corpse rotting on the ground and the bombed, ha the bombed houses of the resident know that you are in Gaza when you see the entire neighborhood have been raised to the ground, know that you are in Gaza. When you see the international relief organizations and public institutions have been destroyed, know that you are in Gaza. When you see ambulance crews who should be protected and insured internationally, bombed and killed, know that you are in Gaza. When you see the shelters, sheltering the homeless from the bombing of their homes, know that you are in Gaza. When you see the women and children and the defenseless of elderly under the rubble and bombs, white phosphor, white phosphors, and realize that they are all targets, know that you are in Gaza. And with this I end that first time when I saw Sindh and Kirikura, I was 16 years old directly after Rachel was killed in Gaza. And today I, I have all the pleasure to stand here and support them and say that Rachel Corey, Vittorio Aragoni and all those who died in Gaza, they came because they loved Gaza and Gaza never forget those who loved her. So rest in peace and God bless them.